Today on Documentify TV, we are taking a journey to the sun-scorched shores of the Red Sea. Let's uncover the secrets of Bereniki, an ancient Egyptian port that once bustled with activity as a vital hub of the Roman Empire. This long-lost city, hidden beneath the desert sands for centuries, is now revealing its treasures to archaeologists, challenging our understanding of ancient global connections. For 30 years, Stephen Sidebotham of the University of Delaware has led excavations at this remote site. What his team has uncovered is nothing short of remarkable, a cosmopolitan hub that connected East and West, where peoples, goods and ideas from across the known world came together. Berenike's story begins around 275 BC when it was founded by Ptolemy Saku, a Greek ruler of Egypt. Initially, it served as a port for importing African war elephants. But under Roman rule, starting in 30 BC, Berenike found a new purpose. It became a crucial link in a vast maritime trade network, stretching from the Mediterranean to India and beyond. The city's location was ideal. Ships could ride monsoon winds across the Indian Ocean, timing their journeys with the seasons. Berenike was the first convenient stop in the Roman Empire for these vessels, returning laden with exotic goods. The variety of items passing through Berenike was staggering. Excavations have unearthed pottery from Spain and Morocco, frankincense from Arabia, beads from Southeast Asia, and a wealth of Indian goods. One exciting find was a jar containing over 16 pounds of peppercorns, the largest such cache from antiquity ever discovered. But Berenike wasn't just a transit point. It was a living, breathing city. Archaeologists have uncovered homes, shops, workshops, and religious buildings. The remains of ships, both Mediterranean and Indian, hint at the port's busy nature. Even more intriguing are the personal touches. A pet cemetery with cats, dogs, and monkeys from India carefully buried by their owners. The city's religious life was equally diverse. Temples and shrines to various deities have been found, including a prominent temple to the Egyptian goddess Isis. This mix of cultures is evident in the artifacts discovered. A statue combines features of Indian Buddhas with Roman Egyptian style, while stone carvings blend Greek, Roman, and Indian elements. These finds are changing how scholars view ancient trade. It's becoming clear that Indians weren't just passive partners in this exchange. Wealthy Indian merchants and ship owners were active participants, living and worshipping in Berenike. This challenges the old idea of Roman dominance in Indian Ocean trade. The economic impact of this trade was enormous. Some estimates suggest that tax revenues from Indian Ocean commerce may have provided up to a third of the Roman Empire's total income. This wealth helped support Rome's vast territories and conquests. But the influence went beyond money. Exotic spices, textiles, and even animals transformed daily life across the Roman world. Pepper, shipped through ports like Berenike, became a staple in Roman cooking. The trade gave people a sense of living in a much larger, world. Berenike's fortunes began to change in the late Roman period. By the 4th and 5th centuries AD, control seems to have shifted to local desert tribes. The last mention of Berenike in historical records dates to around 525 AD. Shortly after, the city was abandoned, possibly due to changing trade routes or the arrival of plague. Today, Berenike lies silent under the desert sands, yet it continues to speak volumes about our past. With only a small portion of the site excavated, who knows what further discoveries await? Sidebotham and his team hope to find evidence of trade with China, which would show connections spanning the entire known world of antiquity. The story of Berenike reminds us that globalization isn't new. 2,000 years ago, this remote port was a melting pot of cultures, a place where East met West. As excavations continue, Berenike offers a unique window into the complexities of ancient trade and cultural exchange. Unlike many well-known Roman sites, this remote outpost provides a different perspective on life in the Empire. One of the most fascinating aspects of Berenike is its multilingual nature. Archaeologists have uncovered texts in Greek, Latin, Demotic Egyptian, and even Sanskrit. 
These writings range from official documents to personal letters, painting a vivid picture of daily life in this cosmopolitan port. The city's architecture also tells a story of adaptation and ingenuity. In a place with no local timber, builders often recycled ship's planks to construct buildings. Coral, abundant in the nearby sea, was also used as a building material. These unique construction methods highlight how residents adapted to their harsh desert environment. Water management was crucial in this arid location. Researchers have found evidence of complex systems for collecting and storing the precious resource. Large cisterns and water channels show the engineering skills needed to sustain life in such a challenging setting. The discovery of luxury goods at Bereniki has been particularly exciting for archaeologists. Fragments of Chinese silk, Indian gems and African ivory all point to the port's role in long-distance luxury trade. These items weren't just passing through. Some were clearly used and treasured by Bereniki's inhabitants. Perhaps most intriguing are the religious artifacts found at the site. The blend of Egyptian, Greco-Roman and Indian religious elements suggest a remarkable level of cultural mixing. It seems that in Bereniki, people were open to new ideas and beliefs from across the known world. As research continues, Bereniki is helping to reshape our understanding of ancient globalization. It shows that long before the modern era, people, goods and ideas were circulating on a truly international scale. The challenges and opportunities of cross-cultural interaction that we face today have deep historical roots. Looking ahead, there's still much to learn from Berenike. Advanced scientific techniques are being applied to analyze everything from ancient DNA to the chemical composition of artifacts. These methods promise to reveal even more about the origins and movements of people and goods through this crucial port. The story of Berenike also raises important questions about human adaptation. How did the inhabitants cope with the harsh desert environment? What can their strategies teach us about resilience in the face of challenging conditions? As we grapple with our own globalized world, places like Berenike remind us of the long history of human interconnection. They show us that diversity, cultural exchange, and international trade are not new phenomena, but have been shaping our world for millennia. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this exploration of history, please consider subscribing to our channel for more intriguing documentaries that bring the past to life. That's it for today, folks. See you in our next video right here on Documentify TV.